Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. <laughs> We're about to do a Dollar Tree haul. I just had an idea because I did a whole bunch of uh, shopping, a whole bunch of knickknacks and things that I got from Dollar Tree. So hold for one moment. So we can show you how you gotta shop, how you can shop nowadays for cheap, for the low low. Selling baby say you can shop for the low low if you if you do it right. All right. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm hot. <laughs> Manuka. All right, so we got a good amount of stuff. I'm gonna make it quick and simple because I want to make it quick and simple. But I'm very excited about what I got because I had a whole list of stuff like I needed to replenish. I needed to replenish all of my cleaning um, utensils. Like I used brushes and, and things and like my mops I needed to replace. And I usually like to get certain mops. Like I like to get um, the ones that you can, um, it's, what is it called, hands free, where you just twist it and then you don't have to use your hands to wring the mop out. Cause, because I just recently had to throw my mop out, which was the twist one where you, again, it's hands free. Um, I had to throw it out because it, it got rusted because I guess I left it in the water too long. So the whole um, the whole pole at the bottom was rusted and so was the um, so was the the mop thing. But what I liked about that mop is like I said, it's hands free. You don't gotta bend down and bend your back and wring no mop out. You know, I don't like that I don't I don't like the old school way of mopping. I like the new school way where you wring it out with the twister and you're done. Um, but like I said, that one got rusted and what I liked about that one is you can just, it's like a quick loop, swoop and pull where you can take the, the mop head off and you can throw it in your washing machine and it's done. You can, um, cause sometimes what I do is, um, what I do is I basically, Every so often, like, okay, so for instance, say if I, say if I mop today, I'll, and I mop the whole house, what I do is I'll leave the mop in the mop water, and I'm guessing over the time of me doing that and not wringing it out right away, cause it to get rusted. But what I usually do to clean my mop, okay, baby. What I usually do to clean my mop is I use baking soda and vinegar and some mop water and I let it like sizzle in hot water and that's how I clean my mop. But once, a, maybe like once in a while, I'll throw it in a machine with some bleach, you know, cause that gives it extra clean. But like I said, I had to get rid of the mop cause it had rust all over it. So now I was like, okay, I want to get stuff that's affordable. So, um, that mop is usually sometimes we're, we're just, it depends where you get the mop from but usually that mop can run you about 10 to 15 dollars and i'm like i'm not trying to spend that much on a mop again what i what i did before was all i had to replace was the mop head and that was it i threw away the old mop head um and got a new one because they have the replaceables but this time i couldn't replace the mop head because of the fact that the whole mop head and the pole was rusted so I just threw the whole mop out but anyways so I might still end up buying that mop down the line but I said look I know of a nice little store called Dollar Tree or Family Dollar well Dollar Tree is better because Family Dollar you can, you can sometimes find things at Family Dollar for ten dollars but everything at Dollar Tree is well it used to be a dollar but now it's a dollar twenty five <laughs> Oh, the man, the moon. Hey, show show them yourself. Say, <laughs> say hi. Uh, no, okay. Not now. Okay, I get it. I get it. I know. Okay, give me a second. Give mommy a second. Give mommy a second. I'm gonna feed her really quickly. This is this is intermission. <laughs> but I was.
was so excited because I'm like, oh, I can do a Dollar Tree haul. That's amazing. So people can see how you can shop on a budget. You know what I mean? That's the that's the greatest thing. In these times that we're living in with everything being so expensive, it's nice to be able to get what you need for good prices. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay, so let me untie these bags and then we can start the haul. Excuse me if I was rambling and excuse me if I was out of breath, but I just was uh, doing a lot. So I was hot, it's hot outside and, and I just kind of got my breath from running up and down the stairs and things. So let's just get this going. It's gonna be quick. I don't have a lot of stuff, but I got a wholesome amount of stuff that's gonna help you clean. You know, you, it's, it's a good amount of stuff that's gonna help you clean. You know, if you're looking for cleaning products, even if you're looking for good natural foods, they, you know, you can find some good stuff at Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna lie, like, and I know how to shop. Like, anywhere I go, I know how to shop. If I go to Target, if I go to Walmart, I know how to shop to get the sale prices. Some people, they, like some people say, well, I don't like to shop at um, Target because Target is expensive. But Target can be expensive, but sometimes you can find things at Target that's less expensive than Walmart. Because I've, I've priced things before where I was like, okay, I think it was like a hand soap and it was just, it was like the big jug of the refill hand soap and it was cheaper at Target than it was at Walmart. So you just gotta have an eye to know. And then also, if you buy store brand at Target, you can you can shop inexpensively at Target. So I I like to like when it comes to certain things, I don't buy store brand. But when it comes to like cleaning products or cleaning utensils and things like that, I buy the store brand because it's like why not? Like even like toilet paper, like why am I gonna get the big brands if I if I can get the store brand and it's gonna do the same exact thing and most of them say compared to this brand compared to that brand excuse me so you know you just gotta be smart that's all <laughs> you just gotta have an eye like it like I tell people all the time even if I was a billionaire I would still be shopping smart I'll be at Dollar Tree every weekend <laughs> racking up like like I if I was if I was if I was a billionaire or something, like people would just be so surprised because I would literally be shopping at Dollar Tree. I would literally be shopping at like like discount stores. Like ain't no shame in my game. Like where you can save a buck, listen, I'm all about saving. I love sales and I love saving a dollar. So even if I was a billionaire, I'd be shopping at Dollar Tree and I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> That ain't no lie about that whatsoever. Okay. I was going to start with the food, but I don't want to start with the food. I want to start with the cleaner products. Because the food excites me, but the cleaner products excite me even more. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. Okay, so. Okay, again, this is a Dollar Tree haul. All right, baby, hold on. You done? Say hi. 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 Okay. You want to help? Are you going to help mama? Oh, no, no. No. Okay, so we're still gonna start. <laughs> okay, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Like, whoever thought she would be so excited for shopping, for shopping at Dollar Tree, but I'm so excited. Okay, so like I said, even when I go to, you can go to Dollar Tree and you can still find good brands at Dollar Tree. 
and um, Zest is a good brand. They have Zest Simply, and it's called. This is called Fresh Aqua. <sighs> y'all need to go get y'all a bottle of this. When I smelled it in the store, it's like a breath of fresh air. And I remember, because I used to use, like when I was growing up, my mom used to buy Zest bars. And I remember using it. And I remember Zest used to smell so good. Like when we had bars, like my mom, I think my mom would buy Zest and she would also buy Dove. The, the Dove Beauty Bar. Most, most of the time she would buy the pink one or the deep moisture one. And I used to love the smell of Zest. But years, I don't really use bar soaps no more. I mostly use body wash. And so when I so when I went into the Dollar Tree and I saw the Zest, I'm like, hmm. I usually don't buy Zest, period, at all. My body wash usually is, I usually buy Dove or I usually buy um, just things that are more creamier or, or more on the natural that's not so harsh for your skin. But um, I was like, when I smelled the Zest, because I recently, the reason why I've been on the, the liquid ones instead of the creamier ones was because I recently bought Dial and I realized that Dial they changed their formula to make it a little bit more natural. So the dial, uh, the dial body wash that I've been using, it it's it's so cleansing, like it's so cleansing, but it's so mild to the point that if I was to use it on her, she would be fine. Um, I don't use it on her, but it was so mild and gentle, but yet so cleansing. Like when you get out the shower from using that dial body wash, you feel squeaky clean, but you don't feel like you know how sometimes certain bar soaps or certain certain body washes, it feels like it's stripping the moisture off your skin. It doesn't feel like that with Dial. So I started using those kind of gel kind of body washes recently instead of the creamier ones. And it excited me because when I went into the Dollar Tree, I'm like, okay, well, they have a dot, they have a um, zest gel um, body wash. So I'm saying, I was like, if I like the Dial, I probably would like the zest. And it also says simply on it. So nowadays they're making, they're making products that's a little bit more natural friendly. Even though they may have a little bit of chemicals in it, they're still making all done. They're still making it to where it's a little bit more on the natural side. So they're changing every I noticed every product nowadays that used to be really harsh, they're changing their formulas to make it a little bit more on the natural side so that it's not so harsh in chemicals. So this says that's simply. So when they say simply, it means that they're making they're making it a little bit more nature friendly, I would say. I don't know how to say that, but they're making it a little bit less chemical, you know. Oh, what so have you? <laughs> Whatever, oh, what so have you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me fix myself a little bit. Naira, stop that. You can use it, but don't be knocking everything. You hear me? I'm wanting your melody. Alright, I'm back to business. Excuse me. It is it be feeling so uncomfortable sometimes. Okay. So we're back to business. Okay, so that was the zest. I'm gonna put that to the side. I got some um peroxide. You see how big this peroxide is? I love to keep peroxide because I recently found out that you can use peroxide for like certain stains. Like if you have your period and you get blood, you can use it for um, like the stains in your underwear. So that was awesome when I found that because I can use it for um, stains and I also can use it for, um, you know, scrapes and stuff. Um, and then I do like Arm & Hammer. I usually use their deodorant, the Essentials deodorant. And... This is the essentials because the essentials deodorant is is non antiperspirant, and I don't I don't use antiperspirant deodorants. So the they have the essentials body wash now, and I do see this sometimes at Walmart or Target. But I picked it up because if I'm shopping at Dollar Tree, I'm still trying to get the name brands. So and it's nothing against the non name brands, but I'm not too certain about the non name brands that I don't know about. So I usually try to still stick to things that I know. Arm and Hammer, Zest is a is a good brand. So, oh, that one is Simply Fresh. And see, even this, the Arm and Hammer, 
it says gentle with baking soda. So imagine what, baking soda is odor control. So imagine what this is gonna do for you in the shower. And it smells so amazing. It smells just like that dial that I've been using. It's like certain body washes, I can, it's like I have a sense of knowing what is gonna make me smell good and what is gonna leave like residue. It's like I can instantly smell a body wash and say, okay, no, this is not gonna be good for my body because I can tell that it's gonna have a residue. It's weird, but I can sense it. This, I can tell that it's gonna leave me squeaky clean, but it's not gonna strip my body. And I can tell that it's gonna make me smell really nice, but it's still gonna be gentle on my skin and it's not gonna leave like a residue. Cause sometimes when you have a red, sometimes when soaps leave residues, they can later almost leave odor, especially on your, um, your, your area, your feminine area. You know, sometimes if you use harsh soaps down there, it can mess up your pH. But these, I can tell they're not gonna mess up my pH because of the smell. Like you can tell when something smells like it's gonna work with your chemistry. I don't know. I feel like that's an intuition kind of thing. Y'all might not think so, but I, I think so. <laughs> I think I have intuition to know what's gonna work for my body and what's not. And it could be from experience or it could just be intuition, but listen, I ain't gotta over explain. <laughs> this is, oh, did I say? Okay, so both of those were Simply Fresh. Yeah, both, no. One of those was Simply Fresh, and then I got two clear waters. And this, yeah, that's the same one, okay. It smells amazing. Like, I can't wait to get in a shower right now and use that. Like, like I said, I was used to using the creamier body washes, but um, lately I've been liking the, for the summertime, I've been liking the ones that are gel-like, because I feel like when you're sweating and you're outside, I feel like they clean you a little bit better when they're, when they're not the like the dove type creamier ones when they're just like more like gel like but yet they're gentle so those are my body washes then i usually like to get um vo5 and if you're a natural um if you're a natural and you're trying to do like inexpensive uh shampoo and conditioner stick to things like vo5 or um dove or um what is the other brand? I forgot the other brand. But it's a good it's a good three or even Garnier Garnier Fruities is pretty good. Um or um I think it's I think I said dove already, but it's a few brands that if you're natural they're pretty good because they don't have the silicones or the parabens or the mineral oil in it. And it also has collagen. So I usually use this like I usually buy us a natural shampoo for our hair and then what I'll do is buy a cheap conditioner that's still pretty good for moisturizing. Or sometimes I'll buy a good con a good shampoo and conditioner that's natural. But every once in a while I'll use this because I feel like it's almost a treatment. So sometimes I'll deep condition my hair with this because it has the collagen in it. Um, but either way, if I buy if I buy both shampoo and conditioner of a good brand of a of a natural shampoo and conditioner, I still keep this in my house. Or I'll keep like the Dove or the um, Suave, that's what it is. And I keep it in my house because I know how people talk about slip is good when you have a conditioner that has a lot of slip because you're not wasting your good brand natural shampoos and conditioners. These are only like a dollar. So I recommend, I recommend that if you're spending money on um, natural hair care products, and you're like you're a natural and you're and you're buying like the um the good brands of the natural hair care products i would say still keep these type of conditioners or shampoos in your cabinet because it helps in when you're detangling so that you're not wasting your good brand product conditioner to detang to detangle your hair what you can do is wash your hair with your good con your good shampoo, your natural shampoo, and rinse it out, condition your hair with this or, you know, a suave or something like that, a cheap brand conditioner that doesn't have the silicones because it says it on it doesn't have the silicones or the parabens in it. So condition your hair with this and this will help you to, it has a lot of slips so it's gonna it's gonna just melt your hair like once you put this on your hair it's like your hair melts and it's like it instantly detangles and all you got to do is just separate your hair real quick comb through it 
and it's gonna help you to detangle your hair quickly. And then what you can do is rinse your hair out after you detangle it, then follow up with your good brand conditioner. So this way you're not wasting product, your good brand product on detangling your hair. You're gonna, you're gonna waste your cheap dollar uh, conditioner on detangling your hair. Okay, I explained that. Yeah, I get it. So, okay, so I got a loafa, and all of these products was a dollar twenty-five. Dollar Tree used to be a dollar. Now they rent, they went up to a dollar twenty-five. So I got a nice loafa. It's an exfoliating loafa. It's called Clean Logic, detoxifying. Okay, so I'm excited about that. Okay, toilet tissue. What I usually do, they have the four pack of toilet tissue at Dollar Tree. But I don't really like the four pack because the four pack usually runs out severely clean. So I usually buy the individual rolls and that's lasts me for a good amount of time. I don't always shop at Dollar Tree for my stuff, but when I do, I usually go for the the, the single um, toilet tissue rolls. Okay. Okay. Um, they had air wick there and I was going to buy the air wick because it smelled really amazing, but I went with the lemon because oh, oh. lemon to me lemon is cleansing and I'm like and I, they didn't have an antibacterial um, room spray there they only had the air wick which was for scent so I was like well what I'm gonna do is just buy the lemon non name brand one and lemon cleanses so lemon is gonna cleanse my ear and I would have rather buy, bought the air wick but I was just like uh, I'm just gonna get the lemon one because of, like I said, lemon is more cleansing than just a smell good spray. Um, and it, pre it smells pretty good. And it was also a little bit bigger than the ear wick one. So it's more in it. So it's 25% more. So it'll cleanse your ear. Uh, it smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells pretty good. And I believe it's going to cleanse my ear. Okay. Then we got the, um, the good and clean lavender wipes for the toilet. Because I usually like... I usually like to clean my toilet with the wipes. I don't use a rag for my toilet because I feel like, I just feel like, I don't know how to explain it. I When I was, back in the days when I, when I, you know, when I first was on my own, living on my own, I would use a rag for my, for my sink, a rag for my toilet, and a rag for my tub, or a sponge for my tub. But after a while, when I started using these, I realized how convenient they are. Because they're convenient, like say if I'm wiping down her high chair, or I'm wiping down the table, or I'm wiping down the doorknobs. or It's really easy to have these on here. Um, san 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 sanitizer wipes. So what I usually do with my toilet is, um, I usually, okay, clean from top. Anything I clean, and this is, because I've seen people clean recently, and I'm like, bruh. Y'all need to y'all need to go revisit and re, be retrained and clean. Even when I went to restaurants a few times, I'm like, why are you wiping the chair then wiping the table, bro? Like, I mean, I don't be I don't be mean to people when I talk to them, but in my mind, I'm like, why are you wiping the chair then the table? Like, say if I go to a restaurant and I see that the table is dirty, I'll say, hey, can can you have somebody come over and clean it real quick? And I saw the guy and he was using the wipes, which was good, but he was wiping the seat than the table so I said sir I don't mean any harm but can you please wipe the table first with a new wipe and then wipe the seats because people's bottom sit on thing you know what I mean I've always been taught and I don't know if I don't put that in your mouth I don't know if I if I was trained in that like maybe I was working a job one time and they showed me that you you work from top to bottom or if it was just like a natural thing of me growing up and knowing that that's how you're supposed to clean like I my mother was a clean fanatic so she never said when you clean make sure you do the top to bottom but I guess because I knew because she was I saw her cleaning all the time and it was just like a natural thing I knew to clean top to bottom so any, any when I got my own when I got into my own I always made sure that anything I cleaned I cleaned the top to the bottom and even when you're working they tell you that so when I see people doing that in restaurants or places, I'm like, why are you cleaning the bottom, then cleaning the top? Even the most clean people that I've witnessed, they they clean they they clean the t the bottom, then the top. I'm like, no, clean the top, then the bottom. Like if you're working with your toilet seat, I've I've seen people clean toilets, like even in hotels. 
when I when like say if they were cleaning when I was inside the room, I would be like, hey lady, why are you using the rag that you use it for the toilet for the sink? I would say that to them, and the cleaning ladies would be mad at me. But I just didn't it didn't sit well with me. I'm like, if you're if you're cleaning, and I'm not trying to ramble on. I'm I'm trying to get to the point. But what I'm trying to say is, if you're cleaning anything. First of all, if you're cleaning a bathroom, you need to use separate racks for every single thing. Meaning, use a separate rack for the sink, use a separate rack for the toilet, use a separate rag for the tub. You should not be cross, that's cross, to me that's cross contamination. If you're using a rag for the toilet, and then now you go clean the sink with that. No, no, not having it. Get it out your face. So, when I'm cleaning my toilet, because this was out, this is what I was originally talking about. I use these to clean my toilet. When I clean my toilet, I clean the top where you take the toilet thing off, where you can take it off and you see the water inside. So I clean that. I clean the little, um, the little tassel. That's not for your hair. Not for your hair. It's not a brush for your hair, baby. Okay. It's not for your hair. It's for cleaning. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, what I usually do is I clean that part of the top of the toilet. Yay! Then, then I'll clean the flusher with the wipe. I'll clean the back part of the seat, the the back part that you sit on. Then I'll clean the, 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 the part that you sit on, your bottom on. Then I'll pick the toilet seat up, clean underneath that bottom part. Then I'll clean the part where the bowl is underneath the bowl and down below on the floor. You know, where the you know where the rest of the toilet is and then I use two wipes at a time to clean that from top to bottom I throw those wipes in the garbage then I might use maybe one extra one to wipe to wipe the the part that you sit on again and then sometimes what I do is also is I'll spray a little bit of cleaner on them to make them a little bit more wet because to me it's good to use a little bit of water when you're using these wipes, you know, because they have water in them and stuff, but I still like to put a little bit more water or put a little bit more cleaner on them. And then after I do the wipes part, and like I said, these are so convenient because they're disposable and you don't got to keep worrying about that you got to wash this dirty toilet rag in the washer. You don't got to keep worrying about that you got to keep wringing out that dirty toilet rag in the sink to get, you know, it, it's, to me, it's, it's less contamination when you're using disposable wipes for your toilet. Use a rag for your sink, use a rag for your tub, but when you're using, when you're cleaning your toilet, to me, the most sanitary thing to clean a toilet is using wipes because they're disposable. You don't gotta hold on to no rag, no dirty toilet rag that people poop on or anything. Meaning that you're cleaning the toilet where people poop. So, anyways. And then when you get to the inside of the toilet bowl, I usually either use bleach or some kind of Mr. Clean Cleaner if I have it on hand. But for the most part, I like to clean with Common. I don't know about anybody else, but I think my, my mom used to, I grew up on this, you know, and sometimes I use more than I need, so it runs out very quickly, and that's why I was trying to switch up and do something different. And I've been using bleach lately, mixing it, mixing it with a little bit of detergent, just to switch it up a little bit, because like I said, I can use this Comet in almost like two days, because for some reason, I'm like, the more you pour, the more, I don't know. That's just how I think. I'm like, the more you pour, the more clean it's going to get. And and it's like, you don't always need that much. But in my mind, the more so, the more I, I use a lot of products. Meaning, like, I use a lot of one product. So if I'm using dish soap, I might squirt, squirt the, the soap on it maybe like three times. And my soap runs out quick. My cleaner runs out quick because I use a lot of soap. I use a lot of products. I try to conserve, but it still is very hard to conserve when you're cleaning. I don't know. But anyways, this is very cheap no matter where you get it. You can get it for Dollar, from Dollar Tree for $1.25. You can get it from um, Target for about $1.25. And you can also get it from Walmart for about $1.98, cents, I think. So this is, I swear by this, they sometimes have it in lemon. They sometimes have it in just regular bleach. Or they sometimes have it in lavender. Comet or Ajax is really good for cleaning tubs and for cleaning the inside of the toilet and cleaning the inside of the sink. You can use like maybe like a Mr. Clean spray bottle for the rest of the, the tub walls or the, the, the outside of the sink, you know, but for the most part, when you're cleaning that bottom part of the tub or the inside of the sink, this is something that really gets that scum out. It gets the scum out so good. So I love Comet, um, but like I said, I've been trying to switch up because 
it runs out so quick for me and I'm like I keep rebuying I keep rebuying so I'm trying to find another alternative but I keep always coming back to comment <laughs> and that's just what it is uh, so I bought two of those two lavender of those um, like I said when I'm shopping at any dollar store I still try to stick to the brands because I know that they're going to do better than the non-name brands. So, Bounty Essentials Paper Towels. I bought one roll of that. Um, or what I do is I'll stick to the compare brand. Like, for instance, the toilet tissue. That toilet tissue that I got, that's 1,000 sheets. This is com this is like compared to Scott. And I usually like, usually if I'm, if I can't find the non-name brand Scott, I'll find regular Scott. And of the 1,000 sheets. So this is pretty much like the Scott toilet tissue of the 1,000 sheets. It works just like it. You can't even tell the difference. Um, my mouth is getting dry. Let me get some water. Okay, so... Um, I don't want this haul to be stressful. But I don't, I don't know. I think it's because I'm hearing so much noise while I'm trying to, while I'm trying to talk. I'm hearing the air thing. I'm hearing, you know, when you're trying to talk and you feel like you feel like you're yelling because you're trying to hear yourself talk, and that's how I feel. But I need to. I'm gonna pray right now for the peace of God because this hall was exciting. It, I had an idea. Like I was on my way home and I was just like, oh, I got all this stuff from Dollar Tree. I should probably do a Dollar yeah! Tree haul. That would be that'll be a good video idea. So I was so excited to do it, but now yeah! that I'm doing it, I'm like I'm feeling stressed. Yeah! And I just think it's because I can't hear myself talk. Maybe I need to turn that ear off or something or turn it down because I can't hear. Like, I can't hear myself talk right now. But um, I can hear myself, but I feel like I'm yelling to try to hear myself. Uh, but anyways, let's finish and move on. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I needed to replenish my sponges. Um, and what I usually like is I like the, I sometimes like the disposable sponges. I like to keep those on hand. But for the most part, I like the sponges that you can wash in your washing machine. It's so convenient. You don't have to keep rebuying the same thing. You can just throw these in a washing machine with some bleach and they're clean as new. So I bought a four pack. They have the one that you can use for when you got you know your silver pans and you want to get the you know the the crud off of it they have the plastic one for small messes i guess and then they have the two disposable not um the two rewashable sponges and they have one really soft one it's a soft fabric and then they have the one with the holes in it so i really i was when i saw this four pack i'm like this is perfect because i was really going to just buy four sponges or two sponges and then two scouring pads. But when I saw this pack, I was like, oh, they did it for me. So I got one of those. And this is what I like because I've been recently, I've been recently, cause, cause remember I said that I've been trying to switch out from the Comet. So what I've been doing was using bleach and some kind of dish soap or detergent mixed together and using that to clean the inside of my toilet or the inside of my sink or my shower. But I've noticed sometimes that using all that bleach, it, get, it gets to my nose and my eyes. And I've noticed my eyes been, and my nose been irritated a lot. And I think it's because I, the bleach, I've been using too much bleach. So the Comet, you don't really smell the Comet. The Comet is odorless. You can dump it and you're not going to get the, the fumes in the air from the Comet. So it's bleach, but it's not, it's not going to be all up in the air and making your eyes irritated and stuff like that. And then the, the Comet um, kitchen cleaning with bleach is pretty much Comet, but in liquid. So I said, okay, I'm going to try to use an alternative instead of using bleach anymore. Um, I'm going to either go back to Comet or I'm going to just use the Comet um, alternative for bleach. Bleach alternative, whatever. So this is what I'm going to use to clean the walls of my shower, to clean the outside of my kitchen sink, to clean the outside of my bathroom sink and you know to spray on those wipes to um clean the toilet you know um as opposed to using bleach because the bleach is really getting to my to me so um 
Then I bought this some disposable gloves because it's always good to have these on hand because you never know you might want to take out garbage and it might be really dirty, messy, and you have these disposable ones. Like like I said, all of this was a dollar twenty five, meaning like every single item was a dollar twenty five, and you can't beat that. That's a lot of products. If you was to go to Target, Walmart, you'd be spending a lot of money on that stuff. But I got it for the low low. Stop brushing your hair with that. It's not for your hair. Okay. And then I recently went to Dollar General and I found a fabric cleaner, and I have it on my sink. And maybe I should go get it so you can see what it is. Hold on. Okay. Sit down, Mama. Sit down. You okay? So I recently, I recently went to Dollar General and I found this, and um, it's a fabric, uh, it's a fabric disinfectant spray. So you can spray it on your fabric as um, like a Febreze. You know how they have Febreze fabric uh, um, eliminator, odor eliminator. So this is Autobond. I got it from Dollar Tree, no Dollar General. And I had it for a while. Um, and it says it kills human coronavirus. So you can spray this on your couch for it to smell good, but it also is going to disinfect it. It says 99.9. You see that? So it kills coronavirus, everything. And I love the scent. But what I recently did was when it ran out, I put fabric softener in it and some water. And oh my God, it's been doing lovely for my fabrics. Um, so this is, this is the disinfectant spray for the room. So you can put this on the back of your toilet, spray it in the air when you go poop, and it eliminates odor and it and it refreshes the air and it has eucalyptus in it. Okay, so that's a little spray that I bought. Don't open that more. Don't open it. No, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back.